Ambiverts are a very common breed. In fact, most people are ambiverts. You might even be one, and you don't even know it. Confused as to what an ambivert is? People who are ambiverts consider themselves a good mix of introvert and extrovert. Sometimes they prefer social scenes and hanging out with a lot of people, while they also equally love their me time spent alone. Depending on the day and time, ambiverts can enjoy solitary activities like reading books alone or partying it up with all their friends. Some people proudly state that they are social introverts or extroverted introverts or even introverted extroverts, but all those terms come together under the umbrella term ambivert. Do these traits sound like you? Then you might be an ambivert after all. Research suggests that two-thirds of the population are ambiverts. Think of ambiverts as fluid people with shifting personalities. So you might be an ambivert or not, but maybe someone you know is one. And maybe, just maybe, this sounds like a certain someone you might have a crush on. So how do you tell if an ambivert likes you or even like likes you? 1. They single you out at large parties or gatherings. A great way to see into the mind of an ambivert is by watching how they act at parties. It's already been established that ambiverts enjoy parties occasionally, but their goal isn't to be the center of attention, unlike true extroverts. You can tell if an ambivert is interested in someone at a party because they will single them out. The ambivert might approach said person and have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with them that spirals into an hour-long debate over the movie Inception in the quiet corner of the kitchen. If you ever find yourself in one of these conversations, it can feel like the world is moving around you. People are partying and coming in and out, but it all seems like a meaningless blur compared to the one that you're currently intent on. This means that said person feels very comfortable with you and truly enjoys your company. It's not that they were uncomfortable before they came to speak with you, as they may have been laughing and joking with the crowd before they set eyes on you. When it comes to that special person that they have true romantic feelings for, they'd prefer to interact one-on-one -on -one with them rather than in a group situation. Number two, they spontaneously ask you to hang out. Ambiverts can, on occasion, be unpredictable. You might know someone at school who's fairly shy and quiet, doesn't socialize too much, and enjoys working alone. So, when this person asks you to hang out, it can be quite a shock. Ambiverts tend to act differently in social situations and in work or school environments. So although they may be very shy in a professional setting, they're actually very fun and sociable outside. A key feature of ambiverts is that they enjoy their alone time, but when they get too much alone time, they change very quickly into being a social creature who desperately needs social interaction. If someone like this randomly asks you to go see a movie or grab a cup of coffee, it's probably because they're an ambivert. Number three, they seem like they're hesitating around you. When ambiverts are around people they have feelings for, they aren't sure what to feel. On one hand, there is a strong urge inside of them to go home and chill, while on the other hand, their brains might be screaming at them to build up the guts to ask out their crush. From the outside looking in, it can seem like the person is being virtually pulled in two different directions. It's not that they're nervous per se, it's more that they can't decide whether taking the next step with their crush is the right decision for their social lives. They might be flirting confidently one minute and then shy away and close into themselves. Or they might be only words away from saying, will you go out with me? And then walk away because they chickened out last minute. This doesn't mean that they don't want to go out with you. It's just that their insecure introverted side is telling them that this is a risky question and to just back out. These ambiverts wouldn't be hesitating if they didn't see you as an important person in their minds. They see the idea of going out with you as a very big deal and an important decision to make. It's just that their introverted and extroverted sides are arguing with each other over who is right. Number four, they are inconsistent when interacting with you online. You can tell a lot about someone by how they behave online. After chatting online for a few minutes in today's day and age, you can usually tell what kind of person they are and if you click. Ambiverts have a love-hate relationship with the internet and social media, where some days they can't stop posting and the next they don't even glance at their phones, preferring to be alone with their thoughts. This can seem like mixed signals if they're texting you for hours on end one day and then seemingly ghosting you the next. Just relax. This doesn't mean they've already moved on and forgotten about you. They're probably just taking a break from social media. This behavior is also shown in phone calls, texting, and even in-person interactions. Don't stress out about this though, especially if the relationship forms. Just give them time and they'll be back into your phone soon enough. Number five, they show you their playful side and their serious side. 
One of the most compelling things about ambiverts is that they are incredibly multidimensional. Getting closer with an ambivert can be like peeling off the layers on an onion. You keep discovering new sides to their personality. Ambiverts can either show you their personality upon meeting, like an extrovert, or hide themselves, like an introvert. And as you start to get more intimate with them, they open up. When this person starts to show you this hidden side of themselves, that's when you know for sure that they like you. They're comfortable enough to share their quirks and secrets with you, which means they trust you. They don't want you to fall for just their extroverted or introverted side, but for their entire personality and who they truly are. 